Hi everybody, it's me, Karina, at Karina on a Crochet. And I'm coming on tonight for vlogmas number 14. 14, I think it is. So, wow, it's just going by just like that. And so we're already halfway through the month. And I only have 16 more days to go. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to come on, say hi to everybody, and hope that you all had a good day today. You did lots of crocheting, and also wanted to tell you a little bit about um, what I've been doing other than, well, I'm working on the tutorial for the dolls, of course, I know, and you know I'm doing that. And I'm thinking that I will put the first tutorial for the doll body and I think I'm going to put that up on Wednesday. So Wednesday I will put on the tutorial for the doll body. And then the following Wednesday I'll maybe do uh, the tutorial for the, maybe we'll do the, the hair or um, we'll do the dress. I'll see how, I'll kind of figure it out. But for sure we're going to do the doll body on Wednesday, next Wednesday. So everybody get your things ready. Also, I forgot to tell you, you're going to need some stuffing. So um, I, I forgot to, some toy stuffing. You're going to need some of that, like polyester or, you know, that some stuffing that you can buy like at Walmart or the store that comes in those big bags. You'll, you'll need some of that and probably some embroidery thread for the for the face or i'm trying to figure out what kind of face i can do for the first doll to make it really easy for you so i'm thinking i might i'm checking some different methods right now and i'll let you know what i come up with as far as the hair goes i'm trying to think of a good hairdo um for the first doll i don't want to make anything too hard for you because I want you to just kind of get the hang of it. But maybe you can make a suggestion as to what, I can do a ponytail, I can do short hair, short little curls, I can do um, kind of like, a, just like a bun, you know, so kind of give me some suggestions, like what you guys kind of want, maybe they are thinking I can do two little ponytails with curls that would be cute that's what I was thinking I might do so tell me what you think if you think you'd like that or not um, I don't know if you noticed I'm wearing my harvest this is my harvest sweater for Thanksgiving my harvest Thanksgiving sweater it's orange and I look like a big pumpkin <laughs> but anyway this is how I made it um, it's actually um, like granny squares um, but six I think it has six points of uh, on the granny square and then I just um, sewed them together and this is how you get it let me show, go over here so you can see it and I put big, I have big sleeves because um, that's just how it turned out that's the back of it and that's the front of it. So I call it my pumpkin sweater. So I like it though because I like um, wearing it like in the evening when I'm crocheting and I want something warm to put on. I just put this on and it feels great. Um, also I wanted to show you something that I have that I made. I've been making it and I finished it. It's the Karina um, basketball, the basketball project bag, and this is it right here. It's, um, a round bottom, and I'll show you the stitches, and then it goes up, and it has a drawstring, and you can put lots of projects in there, like yarns, all kinds of stuff. But um, I kind of put stuff in there so you can see a lot of stuff will go in there. But I used a lot of different stitches. It's like it was going to be like a giant basket with a bunch of stitches. But then I decided I wanted to make it a project bag so that I could carry a lot of things in it. 
I used cotton, 100% cotton on it, and um, it's it's a fun bag. So I'm probably going to do a tutorial on it a little later. If you like it, let me know if you you like it enough that you would want me to do a tutorial on it. So anyway, that's all I have tonight. I hope everybody's doing great, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. So God bless you all. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Bye.